First, be alone. First, start having fun alone. First, start loving yourself. First, be so authentically happy that if no one comes, it doesn't matter. You are full, overflowing. If no one knocks on your door, it's okay, you are not at fault. You are not waiting for someone to come and knock on the door. Are you at home? If someone comes, good, great. If no one comes, it is also good and beautiful. This way, you will notice that your biggest fear will end. The fear of loneliness. As a friend once told me, he fell in love with himself and began to exist. So I also tell you, the most dangerous of people is the one who has gone through their pain and loneliness and survived because they know they can survive whatever they face. A butterfly that has lived alone in its cocoon for days knows that it can survive on land after all, and that makes it capable of flying because there is no flight if we don't know how and where to land. Then you can move on to a relationship. Now you move like a master, not like a beggar, but just as a master does not eat just any type of food, you must know how to choose what to eat, what to wear, and how to behave. Knowing how to choose personalities, not faces. There are thousands of beggars who hide behind the faces of masters, and masters who, due to their humility, hide among the beggars. You will know when you meet the right person. You will know when you meet the master, who will fight by your side, it will be the one that takes away your second biggest fear, that of fighting alongside someone, that of having a relationship. And the person who has lived in his solitude will always be attracted to another person who is also living his solitude beautifully, because the same attracts the same. When two masters meet, masters of your being, of your solitude, happiness is not just added, it is multiplied. It becomes a tremendous celebratory phenomenon. And they don't exploit each other, they share. They don't use each other. Instead, on the contrary, both become one and enjoy the existence that surrounds them.